Welcome to BFM TV. I'm your host James. And today we are going to analyze a movie that's called Wada Uma 1984. And this movie is a movie that is trying to push a feminist agenda or a feminist hero or women empowerment in general. So in this movie, as we in the opening scene, we see a uh, young Diana, who is the main aunt, participating in a kind of a uh, Olympic or a uh, what can I call it? A kind of a race in a fantasy world. And what we see here is that um, even in the audience, we don't see women men there. We just see women even in the audience, and the participants are women. And you can tell from this, not even just from the title, this movie is trying to push women empowerment or feminist theme. And what we see here is that um, I would feel like uh, if it was, if I was the director, I would have added some few guys or some, some few men in the audience because I feel like no matter how you want to push the agenda of feminists, it would be so good if we had some men in the, in the audience. Because in this scene where we see uh, Diana participating in a kind of an Olympic, we can tell that there's no, we don't, we don't see any man here. And I feel like they are trying to push the agenda like a, uh, as feminists, we don't need men in a, the, the, this planet. Let's go from, to another scene. We, we see another scene where uh, the main act is fighting uh, some antagonist group or, um, of men. And what we see in this scene, we see men with guns, but this woman is one. And the way they can't uh, shoot this person, and the way he is fighting here is quite exaggerated. But this uh, popular theme in movies, all superhero, superheroes have themes that are so exaggerated. Going back to a movie, uh, our main antagonist also here is uh, Barbara, who is, uh, who is also a cheater, and he is trying to. He is an obstacle to Diana's success, as we can see from the movie. I feel the director here wanted to push the idea that um, in the process of women empowerment, we have women who are obstacles, like Barbara, who is an obstacle to Diana. And also, we have men like Max Lord, who are objecting the idea of women empowerment. And this hot movies are trying to push, they push agendas indirectly. And we can tell that this movie, in this scenario, where it's trying to push agenda, like women, sometimes women are their own obstacles. I feel this where this movie did its best because we can see that, uh, yes, we have our main actor who is a superhero, a female, female superhero, but the main antagonist, on the other hand, is a female. So we can understand well that this is what happened in a society. Women empowerment sometimes faces blocks from other females who feel that women should not be empowered. On the other hand, just like other movies, the superhero character or features are so exaggerated. So this is common in all super or fantasy movies like this. But um, one thing I feel that uh, this movie could have done is that Apart from portraying Max Lord as a con man who doesn't care about his family because he doesn't care about his son, I feel you could have another picture of a good man because not all good men, not, not the world doesn't have scarcity of good men. No. There are bad men, yes, I agree, like Max Lord, who are uh, drunk with the power, who want to give fake promises, just like our politicians. But that doesn't mean that they are bad men. On the other hand, I feel the theme of uh, women empowerment, women empowerment is overemphasized. And when you emphasize something, men who feel like uh, we have doubt about this feminism, we don't like this bit of a movie because they feel like we are emphasizing too much. But look at some, some movies that are pushing like a male character or white capitalist. You will notice that uh, the men, they are bad men and good women and they are, they are bad men and good men. And I feel like uh, if adding at least a few characters who are good men and men who are powerful, like who are helping the main act Diana would have emphasized this role very well. Because even in women empowerment, we need men to help women to be empowered. Because if we want women empowerment, we cannot ignore the role of men. And But this movie somehow seems like uh, to ignore the character of men. Yes, there's this, um, guy who comes here, but I feel like it doesn't push the agenda of the role of men in women empowerment. But overall, when it comes to women empowerment, the movie is so direct from the title, from the director, 
you can tell this is a movie pushing the agenda of women, which is quite good because it's good to be empowered to empower women. But when you overstate it in, two, in a movie so much, it becomes a bit boring. And sometimes men who are not doing like the idea, we feel like you are forcing them this idea. And the power of marketing is selling indirectly. But directly, uh, the main agenda here you can tell evidently is women empowerment, whether it's exaggerated or not. And we can tell that even in women empowerment or the process of empowering women, we have women who are a lot block like Barbara, who are the main and who, who who is the main antagonist in this movie, Wonder Woman 1984. It's a movie that have gotten so negative critics from uh, many reviewers. And to me, when it comes to fantasy movies, generally not only this movie, I feel it's not my taste because I feel like they do emphasize so much. They do uh, exaggerate so much, and somehow I cannot connect with the ideology of superpowers and this kind of movies like Star Wars, Flash, and there's also another one, Spider Man. This kind of movies, to me, they are not my 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 first choice because they don't connect to me so much. The idea of fantasy world is more of a dream. The, the, even the main the, the we, we see Max Lord having an obsession of a a stone that can give people promises. This ideology has been told in so many movies. It's more of a dream, not a reality. So it may not relate to so many, to many people, in my opinion. But I have seen that I'm reading some few articles and other that uh, this ideology of fantasy movies and superhero movies is quite have a huge market in America. But for me, it's not an interesting movie when it comes to fantasy movie, whether it's a male movie, whether it's a female movie, I have no problem with them, but they are not my taste. And in this movie, also, I feel like just like a movie, the movie that is called Charlie Angels. Also, I have a, a female heroes, and I feel like they are trying to push a very good agenda, but there is too much emphasis on this idea, and it becomes a bit boring. That's what I have for today. And we can see that movies are not movies, they push agendas. Despite the main themes that you can see, you can see this movie that is trying to push an idea of female heroes, men, feminism, or women empowerment. Let me know who would like us to dissect and understand the main theme. I was your host, James. See, I like and comment to one another.